Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are still measuring flow. Today we want to talk about the displacement flow measurement. Displacement flow measurement are simply mechanical, you know, devices which needs to turn or move a little bit yeah, for, uh, for letting fluid pass. Yeah? A typical example is would look like that, yeah. So that we have oval pistons. Let's see if I can manage to draw this. So then we have here circle. Here circle. And here we have one oval piston. And here we have the second oval piston. They have teeth here, yeah. So they are not smooth, they are teeth, so they cannot glide on each other. Yeah? They are locked to each other. And if now some fluid has to pass, uh, so here is fluid coming, uh, and here it wants to leave, this is the direction, then we would go in here, uh, this is moving further, uh, or here, and if this is moving this direction, this is moving this direction, and so we are always passing this amount of liquid to the other side. Here we are sealed. Here we are sealed and we are always passing this amount of liquid. With every turn we are passing this amount of liquid on the upper side and on the lower side. And so we only have to, to count the turns. So counting the turns. Know the flow. Yeah? We exactly know how much volume has passed. It's easy, right? And since this is mechanically binding those things, yeah? since this is mechanically binding, it's very accurate. This volume doesn't really change. Yeah? This is why you find those things very often where, it, where it's about the money. Yeah? Flow measurement. Yeah? tanks, uh, a gas station, for instance. Uh, this is very, very often. There is always a ring piston. Yeah? I show you a picture, show it that. Yeah, you see it in different positions. So the outer part, this is fixed, so which is, which is crossed in one direction, which is crossed in the other direction, the inner part, is rotating, you see there at several positions, uh, you see how the red and the blue areas are changing over time, and you see that from the one which there is a hole in the background, it's marked with E for entry, uh, Eingang uh, in German, and there is a mark of A, Ausgang, uh, output, that's going out, uh, and you see it shoveled to the other side by a piston which is only toggling like this. Huh? And those toggling things you could see. This, by the way, these toggling things is that what you see if you have a clock, uh, a clock, a measurement clock for your water. Uh, you see a little turning. This is exactly what you see there. Okay, so displacement flow measurement working mechanically mechanically blocking. So the benefit, like I said, the benefit of those stuff, high accuracy. High accuracy. So we're usually talking about smaller 1%. Okay. And 
it doesn't really matter. The viscosity doesn't really matter. So we are not sensitive to viscosity changes. And that there is a defined volume and this will be at the other side, no matter what. Yeah? Of course there are downsides. Of course there are downsides. Yeah? Usually modern, in modern uh, applications you distance from the displacement because other methods are now with modern electronics, modern know-how and so on. We have learned a lot of things uh, equally accurate. Yeah. So what is the downside of this? Well, there's limited lifetime, of course. There are moving mechanical parts. There is wear. There's limited lifetime. Period. Yeah? And this lifetime depends on medium. If this is always clear, or for instance, diesel, diesel oil, then it's well lubricated all the time. Something working better yeah? than other materials. If there are some little gravel or, or sand inside, poof, it will destroy it very fast. Yeah? Destroy means usually blocking. So also blocking the line if stuck. This thing is stuck, we're blocking the line. Pooh, there's no flow. We, the, the, the flow measurement is failing, zero flow. This might be an issue. With permanent pressure loss. Permanent pressure loss. Yeah. Uh, we are sensitive to overload. overflow in this case. So if there is more water or more liquid rushing through, then this thing is designed for it's spin like crazy. Okay. Huh? Maybe I should also write the spin directions here. And yeah, this is not working long. <laughs> and we are expensive. high accuracy parts inside, we need high effort to, to build it, so we are relatively expensive for this type of flow measurement. Displacement flow measurement, so that working, the working principle is easy and it's very accurate. These are the, these are the upside. This is why uh, they are usually, they are usually used uh, where you need to pay for exactly. We don't. We are not just interested, huh? but it really costs money. Okay, flow displacement measurement. Next time, another type of flow measurement: turbine flow measurement. What the turbine flow measurement is, I will explain in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.